Hey friends, I hope you guys are having a good day today and a good start to your weekend. So today I'm super, super excited. I bought something new. One of my subscribers, her name is Katie. Thank you Katie for the suggestion by the way. She suggested I get this Callista Perfector Pro and I haven't even opened it yet. I'm gonna try to open it right now. Love the box, by the way, and I love these colors. I got this from QVC because they were selling this Vector Pro Limited Edition on their site, and I actually went on the Callista website, and they didn't have this particular one. Since this is a special edition, they sold it purely on QVC. So I will put the link in the description if you want to try one out. But I am really excited. It is a hot brush. It's not a hot air brush, it's a hot brush. You can kind of see the picture on the side. I got the three quarter inch hot brush and I'm really, really excited to use it. So looking forward to opening this here in a few moments. Just to tell you how my week has been, I am extremely blessed. I still have my job. They have mentioned the possibility of furlough, so I'm really hoping I don't get furloughed. But my husband also still has his job. We've both always worked remotely the last several years, so we are really hoping that our jobs will last through this whole world crisis. But if they don't, you know, we'll make it. I am thankful for where we live. We live pretty remotely and I'm thankful for having my mom next door and I'm thankful for all of you. You guys are really just, I don't know, my online family. You guys are, are so sweet and I have really enjoyed reading all your comments and questions and emails and I feel like, you know, you guys are really what keeps me going lately. So I really appreciate you. So let's get started with blow drying my hair. So I'm gonna blow dry my hair first. Like I said, this Callista brush is not a hot air brush. It won't blow dry your hair, so we need to do that first. I'm really looking forward to using this brush maybe on days that I don't even blow dry my hair, where I don't even wash my hair that day, and to do a quick style. So I have read no reviews of the Callista brush. I have heard a lot of good things about the Callista brand. They have a bunch of different hair tools so I really am excited to try out my first Callista product, but we will get started. So I'm gonna first spray my hair with some sea salt spray texturizer. This is the one I've been using the past several weeks. This is made by Essencia, and I'm actually hooked to this brand right now. I really, really like it, and I really like how it makes my hair like soft but textured, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna just use this. I will also put the link to this product. I think you can buy it solely on Amazon. All right, so let's go ahead and blow dry this and then we'll get to uh, working with the new tool. Okay, my hair is dry. I have just been dying to open this box. I've had it all week, and every time I walk by, I'm like, oh, I just wanna open it, but I have resisted that urge. So, now comes the fun. So this box opens like this. And let's see what's in here. So it comes with a little booklet like this. Nice that it comes with pictures of how to do your hair, visual instructions which is awesome. It goes through long hair and short hair, so we're gonna have to figure this out together here. All right, let's see what's in the box. It comes with this little tool here, and it says, for cleaning the Perfector barrel, use the Callista Tools Glide. Move the glide up along the rows. That's just for like getting hair out, I think, if you get hair stuck in there. That's nice that they gave that. And then we've got the actual Callista tool. Now, what was interesting is you could choose the barrel size. Oh, isn't this pretty? This is gorgeous. You can see the barrel. I really like that they have an easy grab part for the bottom part of the barrel. And you'll notice the barrel is kind of small 
I got a three quarter inch and it was interesting. You get to choose how big you want the barrel size and there were a lot of different sizes. So I didn't want something too big nor too small. My goal was to choose somewhere around an inch, but decided to go just a slightly bit smaller. But yeah, I am excited to use this. Let me go ahead and plug it in, and then we will look at some instructions. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the power on. Oh, it says turn on, hold power for three seconds. So let's hold that for three seconds. There we go. Looks like you can change the temperature here and I'm gonna just leave it at 365. We will take a look in the book. I already feel it heating up here. The other thing that came in the box was a bag for the tool. So we'll take a look at this while the brush heats up. It's a very nice carry case for it. Oh, that's interesting. It actually has a heat safe lining here so that you can put the tool in when it's still hot, which is nice. Awesome. Well, I really like that. Let me get all this out of my way. Okay, so what it wants you to do is, from this book here, it wants you to take a section two inch wide by one inch thick and brush through with Perfector. And then it says, over direct the section by firmly holding ends and hair up and over the side of the head. Place Perfector underneath section at the root Hold the section over top of Perfector for 10 to 15 seconds. Reveal extreme lift and volume at the root. So let's see if we can try to do this. I'm gonna just do a quick comb out of my hair. And let's see what happens here. So it actually went in really easy. Let's see how this does. Oh wow, can you guys see that? That was super easy. Let's try another one. I am really glad I got the three quarter inch because this seems the right size. Isn't that nice? It just goes right in there. Um, it doesn't fall out. It's like these little bristles grab the hair and that made a nice little curl there so I'm gonna see how this goes I'm gonna do it on the rest of my hair so let's let's try this so for me sometimes it takes uh, spraying my hair with some texture spray for my curls to really stick so my guess is my now see that curl I thought it did really good there. If I wanted really distinct curls, then I could spray some like Amika texture spray on my hair. But I think, I think I'm happy with the way the curls are coming out. I don't want like hardcore type curls. It's got an interesting way. It just kind of tightens up right at the crown of your head. I could see if your hair was a bit longer, it might get stuck. But look at that. That's incredible. And this seems to be really easy to use. It also has this cord, it has a swivel so that you don't have to worry about getting the cords all wound up. I'm impressed by this, I don't know, the quality of this. This It feels like really solid, unlike some of the other tools I have. All right, I'm gonna get the back a little more. volume here that I'm getting in the front. I am super impressed. The other thing is when you're touching it, it doesn't feel too hot because the heat's all at the barrel. So you can't really burn yourself, which is really nice. I like that. Okay. So guys, I put uh, pretty much curls everywhere. I think it's time to do a little styling now. 
So I've got my Kenra Platinum Texturizing Taffy, number 13. Get a little bit on my fingers here. I kind of want as little product as possible in my hair today. I'm seeing how much volume this Calista tool created and that is a huge positive for getting a tool like this. I have other things, so like I have a small curling iron and I have like a pencil curling iron and I have a pencil flat iron and those you get real distinct curls. Well, this kind of feels more like you get a lot of volume and you can get curly hair from it. Like it can be somewhat curly like this, but just look how cute it came out. Oh my goodness. So let me spray this. By the way, this is Heritage Wiggle Room, flexible hold hairspray, got that at Walmart. I am pretty thrilled with how this came out. I might do a little here with my bangs. All right, so what do you guys think? I'm gonna show you the front, the back, and the side. So here is the front, obviously. Here's the left side, and then the back. So yeah, tell me what you think of this. First impressions of this Callista tool is that it's an awesome tool. I was not expecting it to be so easy to use, and also I wasn't expecting it to be this pretty, so just the colors make me happy. I was also not expecting how much volume it would give my hair. So Katie, a big thanks to you for suggesting me find this tool. I love it and I'm gonna probably use this. It's gonna be my new fave. I will put the link, like I said, down below in the description for this Callista Perfecto Pro. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to have you a subscriber. I put out videos every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. So that's probably at a different time zone than wherever you are in the world, but you can expect a weekly video from me. So I hope you have a wonderful week. And if you want a new tool to play with, this is a cool one to get. I will see you next time. Bye.